Okay, so I originally had a completely different video in mind, but plans have changed because I just watched episode 1089 of One Piece. It's just, it's such a, I'm so happy to be alive. <laughs> First and foremost, the new animation is so nice and I've never said this publicly, but I've always said to my friends, I would much rather them drop the quality of the image in each frame and make the actual animation more fluid. I prefer fluid animation over high quality images. Like sure, during a fight sequence, I want it to be high frame rate, high resolution. I know I'm asking for a lot, but it's One Piece, biggest show of all time, uh, biggest anime of all time. But when it's just like normal interactions and whatever, I would much rather it be mid quality, but the fluidity of the interaction of them walking, of them talking to each other, of them doing things. I would much rather it be fluid than super high quality, yeah, but it looks kind of choppy. And they've done it! <laughs> it's achieved. <laughs> they've achieved perfection. And so I'm really happy with that change. I love the new animation style. It was a bit weird when we saw Luffy going into the torpedo to save Bonnie. I mean, to save Chopper, and then he ended up with Bonnie. That was a bit too much going on, but... Other than that, it was so nice. It was so perfect. I can't even lie to you. Episode 1089 looked like the beginning of a One Piece movie. You know, with that whole animation and, you know, straw, the Straw Hats leaving the island and, you know, being on the ship together, everyone's talking, everyone's interacting. And then, you know, they see this big torpedo thing in the sky or whatever, the big lava ball in the sky. And then Bonnie comes flying out. Man, that was so good. If Egghead Island is animated like this for the rest of, you know, the thing, I would be so pleased. I, I couldn't, if the rest of One Piece is animated like this, I couldn't ask for anything more. <sighs> now onto the actual episode. I got edged. I got blue balled. I got deceived. When I was reading in the manga and they said Lelusha Kingdom never existed in the first place or whatever. There's like a million different translations, but you know what I mean? That, that one line. As soon as they put the X on the Lucia kingdom and it blew up. I went this whole time under the impression that Emu said that. Because it zooms into his eye before the explosion happens. Now it is still probably true that he's the one that did it. Like the explosion. But turns out it was Mercury speaking. And I can't lie. Mercury's voice actor is so cold with it. He was obviously talking to the marines. Um over the comms, but I, I didn't really realize that. I thought it was Emu saying that, uh, like uh, having like, like a little, I don't know the difference between a uh, epilogue, monologue, whatever. He was having some sort of log with himself. Uh, Mercury, one voice actor. Brother, can you please? Wait, was it Saint, wait, was it Saint Venus or Saint Mercury who said that? Regardless, somebody, somebody said Lelouch Kingdom, that country never existed in the first place. And whoever that voice actor was, that must have been the pinnacle of their career. <laughs> Cause that one line was performed so well. I actually thought that was the voice reveal for Emu. And I thought that was finally a gender reveal for Emu. But we still have to wait. I'm pretty sure until we see the flashback where Cobra was actually talking to Emu. Until then, his or her gender will still be a mystery. His or her voice will still be a mystery. We will not know. The one thing I am praying for is that... The one thing I'm praying for is that Oda does not give Emu some goofy design. Like, I'm sorry, I like Oda's designs, but for a final villain, for the ultimate final scary villain, he better be as menacing as he looks right now. Talking about menacing, I have never once felt scared watching an anime except for the introduction of big mom in fishman island i was i don't know if i was scared or uncomfortable but big mom had some demonic presence back in fishman island when she was talking to luffy i was genuinely scared i would i was actually i was actually uncomfortable watching the show but anyways for the first time ever with that whole butterfly effect like the butterfly flying then the screen going distorted then it zooming in on his eye then getting distorted again i can confidently say i actually felt kind of threatened watching an anime that scene was done so well oh my god i'm 
gla I'm a glazer. I'm a full-time One Piece glazer. I don't know what else to do on this channel but glaze One Piece. I want to criticize One Piece and I will criticize One Piece in the next video. Y'all are not ready for this. I'm about to give my first piece of criticism. But god damn, that was such a good episode, man. And I can't wait for the next episode and the one after that, the one after that. Anyways, also I just want to say if you are an anime only watcher, do not watch the new intro. It spoils about 35%, no, it's pro it probably spoils 80% of what's to come. I'm not even kidding. Okay, if you are only an anime watcher, click off or skip like a minute. We have Law vs. Blackbeard, Kid vs. Shanks. Okay, sure they hid Shanks, but whatever. We know Kid is fighting someone. We see Luchi versus Luffy like 30 times. We see, uh, what's his name? The guy, the, the one that looks like Daft Punk. Is that their name? <laughs> oh yeah, Shaka. Yeah, he looks like Daft Punk. Anyways, uh, that, that dude, it literally shows him looking into the screen and then blood everywhere all around him. What more do we need? And there was, it was just a spoiler after spoiler after spoiler. It's, it's like, it's like if at the beginning of Wano, they just had gear fifth in the intro. That, what was going through their mind? It was like when they introduced gear fifth in the, in the film Red movie. Why did they reveal gear fifth back then? But anyways, that's, that's not the point. That's not the issue at hand. Um, the issue at hand is that they changed the outro. The post Wano outro where, you know, it was Yamato running or whatever. Top five, no, top three One Piece outros. Actually, if we're talking about One Piece outros, probably the best One Piece outro. And in terms of One Piece theme, you know what I mean? Intro, outro, probably top five, which is controversial, but I really liked it. Anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about. The anime is so good right now. We're eating so good. And, and... <laughs> For all of you who are still trying to find excuses not to watch One Piece, the entirety of the One Piece catalog in North America is being added, I'm pretty sure by January, I don't remember, I saw the announcement on Twitter, I think January 18th or 14th, no, no, I think January 14th or 19th, I don't know, I don't know, but it, it, it's, it's gonna be out within a week or so, a bit over a week. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. I just wanted to make this quick video because, man, I don't normally talk about the anime because, you know, I, I don't really care about the anime that much anymore. But this, it's so good. It's so good. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in a few days.